Hello? Hello? I'm here. Let me minimize that and get back to the game. Yes, there we are. I'm here. I've been away for a while. Allergies hit hard. They're still hitting me a bit, so I will be coughing now and then, but I'll try to do that off mic. I'll try to mute beforehand, but who knows? I may not reach the mic in time, so apologies ahead of time. Today, I'm going to fiddle with Potion Craft. Uh, I played it a fair bit back when it was just coming out on Early Access uh, on Steam. And since then, I've forgotten where many of the potions and such are. Uh, I do have a game already started, as I did like the tutorial day and like two or three more days. So this particular one, let's see. Yeah, I have a few potions made. I have some ingredients already gathered. But I'm going with this kind of roleplay-ish. Oh, I have some plants to harvest. Look at there. They haven't done the gardening patch yet. Apparently they're coming out with a gardening patch where you plant the plants you want to get more of and have them grow in the garden. Uh, I've not done any repairs down here or anything. I've pretty much just started. If I remember right... Yes, this is the Dragon's Brew. This is uh, this is the Dragon's Brew. Uh, alchemy. Uh, alchemy business of sorts. I, I'm a... A, a local draconic brewer that just makes potions for the masses. Although I'm gonna do it with good reputation because I have way too much empathy and just fondness for doing good shit in games to uh, do anything else. Our first customers are arriving. She looks angry. Oh god. But uh, before we get to them, I will show you the sort of roleplay sort of aspect I mean. So, for example, uh, these are my three potion recipes up here. I have this Concentrate of Vitality, which is a level 3 healing potion. But its special thing uh, is mostly the description. This Concentrate is a versatile mixture to treat illness and mend wounds. When a pinch of poultice is added to tea or soup and consumed daily, the consumer can rapidly notice a betterment of health. For wounds, a pinch can be blended with a teaspoon of olive oil. Apply the blend to the wound and pad and bandages oh and pad and bandages as appropriate treat as often as the bandages are replaced until the wound has healed sufficiently to go without bandaging stuff like that i wanted to i want to like put little role play style instructions on how the potions work also if you hear my ac in the background i'm sorry and if the audio levels are weird also sorry you'll just have to tell me uh, if that's an issue cuz i can tweak them a bit yeah but it's getting a little warmer here we're in spring in texas and ac's gotta come on and we don't have a central air so i just have a window unit uh i have winter spirit store this vial within a wrap of straw or cloth when needed a few drops can be applied to drinks directly for a flavor fill flavorful chill brushed with a rag over the surface of beef or pork to preserve or the bottle can be left open in an enclosed container with foodstuffs needing to stay preserved. Just a little bottle of cold. And we have Graves Guide. Now it's pretty, pretty dark of a name, but... <coughs> oh, that was one cough. Uh, but with, uh, you know, it's a poison. What are you going to do? Careful with this vial. A single drop of this tincture is enough to still large cattle for pest control dilute a drop in a gallon of milk or other f or another fatty base spread the resulting liquid with a brush over the bait intended for the pests it's a pesticide in this case we're not using it for other purposes like this lady who might want to poison somebody look at her she's so pissed okay and who's this first person they have no name hello no name lady a certain alchemist sold me a potion that made my stomach hurt and gave me the runs. Is there anything you can give to help me feel better? Oh, yes. Uh, I already have a cold potion brewed, but you don't need that. I need to brew. I will give you this concentrate of vitality. Yes. For this particular ailment, you will do the 
brew with tea method. Uh, I will haggle, though, because this is still business. And I have to make some money. Do you happen to have a potion of fire? I needed to care take care of a long-time wrongdoer. Oh, okay. No. Get out of here. I lose reputation, but I gain... Well, I gain positive reputation, but I lose popularity. Okay. Okay, like my oven, because I lost my flint. Do you have something I can use to start the fire instead? Yeah, no no burning nation as yet unnamed. And welcome as yet unnamed. It's been a while, but I'm back. For now. While my allergies are relatively calm. He needs a fire potion. I don't have a fire potion recipe yet. And I think fire is this way? I can't remember the entire map. It's been a while. Hello? Okay. I have one thing that can go left. And you see these little dashed lines here? When those become visible, it means I'm near a near an ingredient. I'm not near an ingredient, near a power of sorts. I can go this way. Looks like I need to go up a little bit though, so. Let's crush some of these, but do it gently. Cause I wanna stop that X on that dotted line. There we go. Whoop. That'll make it easier. And we'll just go along a little bit. Mix thoroughly. And repeat. Let's see. Let's see how many times this recipe will call for a repeat on this. Hold on. Be sure to stay careful with how you're pummeling the the fire flower. What is this flower? Fire bell. Be careful with the fire bell. Do not over crush. It is very easy to do. <laughs> uh, Alright. For the third fire bell, we want to crush it a little bit less. Let's see. Come on. Eh. This person wants an honest use of the fire burner. So we will make this fire burning potion stir carefully. Oh, it's as far as we're going. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me that that's just barely too far off. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Shit. No, I don't want to use another ingredient. Alright, I won't save this one. Gosh darn, what what potion is this? It is a fire. This one's only level 2. I can do better next time. I can do better. As few ingredients as possible is best. Uh, we're going to... Just finish this one. This one is a prototype. Oh! We finished a chapter. Good job! You completed the chapter! With each new chapter, new visitors, autotypes, potion bases, merchants, and purchasable items appear. I can't talk. Continue to complete complete the goals in the alchemist path to unlock the full potential of your alchemy equipment and learn all the secrets of the trade. Okay. Cool. Hey man, you want this fire potion? I'll rub it on your face. It's fine. It's safe in the bottle. Uh, I've not made one of these before, so no... Uh... No instructions for you. I didn't even name it. Because I wasn't happy enough with... It's turn out. Take it. Hello. Yes, what are you selling? A lot of expensive stuff. Am I low on anything? Uh, that is not crazy expensive. Uh... No. Come back next time. Maybe I'll need something then. Maybe with if you have something on sale. I need a potion that will help me quickly start a fire in the fireplace. <gasps> I can try again. <clears throat> okay, so last time I was a little too high. Up in the air. Let's try this again. Eh. We're gonna do this.
I'm a little bit low this time. Okay. And we're going to give myself a little bit of slack on this particular brewing so that I can go down a little bit if necessary. Okay. Stir carefully. <gasps> oh! It's so delicate to get a level 3 potion. Ha! Huh. That's it. We have it. Strong potion of fire. I love it. I love it so much. Let's see. What bottle do we want? That's a crazy bottle. The burn 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 donation. Yes. The burn 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 donation. Let's see. The, uh... Let's see. I could... I, w I wanted the bottle to represent the method of use. So I also need to think about, like, how you would use this fire potion. Uh... I feel like to be safe, like, for bottling, there has to be some reaction you do. Like... What would you what would you do to activate this fire? Uh Oh, maybe it's like a react with water kind of thing. Sort of like a it's just it's just pure sodium. It just explodes with water. Ah! Hmm. <laughs> Or something like that. The, uh... You know what? We'll have it like a... We'll have it a spray application. We'll use this one, because the other one looks like a perfume bottle. We'll use this one. And it still looks like a perfume bottle, but that one looks more like intended for perfume. So this one looks more... Uh... What's the term I'm looking for? Uh, purposeful? Like, not purposeful, uh, like... Industrial, that's it. It looks a little more like it could have an industrial purpose. Do we want a different icon for our fire? Our burn, 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 a nation potion. Uh, I, I mean... Pretty good icons all around. I, I mean, the classic fire is kind of fine. Do we want to, like, tweak the color a bit? Like, maybe we go a little bit more red? I like it. And maybe we go a little bit brighter on the yellow? Yeah, we'll do that. And... We get to name this... <coughs> the, uh... Let's see... So I guess maybe this is like an oxygen interact. So like it just it's like a vacuum bottle. You use the little pump. Actually, yeah, I guess maybe something along those lines. The little pump like whoop, you squeeze it and just basically just a spray. It's a manual spray. Yeah. Okay. What we call this? Uh, what we call? What do you, what do you what do you call this? Hmm. Oh, what was the? There was an old alchemical term. Like before chemistry really got developed, they had a term for phlogiston. How do you spell phlogiston? It's the supposed that was stuff that was supposed to be the or stuff that burns. Okay, that's how you spell it. Like uh, when you burn wood, the material that lets the wood burn and results in the loss of weight is an unknown material called phlogiston burning off. So we're gonna call this uh, concentrated phlogiston. Let's see. We're gonna have a description here. Uh, K 
keep keep this bottle safely stowed where the pressure where, where the sorry where the squeeze with the squeeze balloon we'll go with that will not be stressed to use point the nozzle of the bottle oh yeah actually sorry of the capper of the cap point the nozzle <coughs> excuse me goodness point the nozzle of the cap it ooh, at the desired point of ignition and give this give the balloon only enough squeezes for a full uh, uh, and only uh, and give the balloon only enough squeezes for a full spray to be what is ah uh, what do you call that released keep this bottle safely stowed with a squeeze balloon will not be stressed to use point the nozzle of the cap at the desired point of ignition and give the balloon only enough squeezes for a full spray to be released smoke should be immediately visible with fire following here we go that is our concentrated phlogiston we're gonna save this recipe because that's a level three fire potion hello this will help you start fires in the fireplace Please only in the fireplace. And this is a high dollar potion. This is the good stuff right here. This will work. It's, that's the Dragon Brewer's guarantee. I don't know why, but food seems to spoil incredibly fast in my house. Do you have a potion that helps food stay fresh longer? Yeah. I keep it cold. I have an ice potion ready and made. Yes. I'm still haggle. I'm a, I'm a good alchemist. I'm not going to sell for nefarious deeds, but I need money. <laughs> I'm growing. I'm a growing business. I got a delivery of firewood, but it's all damp and won't even burn. Is there a way to try it out? Uh, I mean, it will dry it out a lot. Uh, oh, I got a talent point. Sweet. Yes, you want that. We'll, we'll haggle for this. It's probably a little stronger than you intended. A level 1 fire potion could have probably done the drying enough. Thank you. No more customers today? Alright. Let's see what I can unlock. Better trading? Ooh, can't afford better haggling. Ooh, what's this? Increases the chance of a bonus spot. Oh, so that's like more XP on the map. That is the economy build. Let's do that. Let's go trading. Well, uh, knowledge economy. All right. That's all the work for today. We go to bed. <coughs> yes. The, um, uh, she won't need to dry the wood beforehand. That is a very strong potion. Uh, it will just go. It may steam for a second first, but it will just go. <laughs> Alright, we got some good ingredients here today. Uh, we use Firebell a lot. We're going to need to buy more Firebell. Water Bloom we have plenty of. What are the recipe? What else do I use? Oh, the Stink Mushroom. Oh, I only have four of those left. Hopefully no one needs uh, Pesticide. And Terraria. That's what this is called. Oh, no, it's called Life Leaf now. I think it used to be called, like, Terraria or something. Like, Terraria. Oh, that's Terraria. Okay, I knew there was a Terraria. 
I was like, because I remember like, I like that game too. That's a good game. Uh, but I have plenty of life leaf. I only need one for that potion. Oh, I need two for my health though. My healing potion. We are renowned potion maker. Oh, hello, sir. Hello, I see you've recently opened. I'm also an alchemist, but I'm just passing through town. I'm collecting some ingredients and selling alchemy equipment, so I decided to drop in. I'm running light now and only have enchanted paper with me, but if you need to expand your recipe book, you can buy a couple sheets. Okay. Yeah, so he sells paper. Uh, let me see my recipe book. I have a few slots left, but I'll go ahead and buy one now. Because well, I can haggle it down. And yeah. And it gives me a little bit of XP. He's happy. Everybody's happy. Alchemist gave me a healing potion. The bandit shot me through the shoulder with an arrow yesterday. The wound isn't serious, but I can't lie around for a whole month. I need to get back to work soon. Well, lucky for you, I still have some life bloom on hand. Woohoo, there it is. This is a fantastic potion. Just apply a little bit of the poultice, mix it with some olive oil, and just apply it with your bandages. It's good stuff. Oh, so haggling does decrease my popularity, so maybe I should only haggle on the best. Okay, so technically I get less of a profit of reputation. I mean, popularity. But I get more money. I do need the money, uh, to be fair. I'll need a strong potion. A strong and fast-acting fast acting poison. I'd appreciate it if you saved your questions and kept our little deal secret. Your silence will be generously rewarded, of course. Uh, no. Go away. <laughs> hey, Ger hey, uh, not Geralt. How are you doing? Nice armor you got there. Hello, Alchemist. Help me replenish my supply of potions. I had some with me, but the hunt turned out wild. <laughs> of course it did. And I had to drink every last one. I need a potion that accelerates wound healing, preferably not toxic. I love that he's straight up Geralt. Gerald? Geralt? Is that right? I don't know. Are you a hunter? <laughs> Are you a hunter? Right. But I don't hunt animals. I hunt creatures like trolls, ogres, various ghouls, ghouls, sometimes harpies. In general, I deal with all kinds of fantastic game. But the pay is decent. Cool. Uh, it should heal wounds, but a little bit toxic is fine. <laughs> uh, this one is not toxic at all. There's only one ingredient in it. Life. Life leaf. So great. Uh, you know what? He's not gonna pay that much anyways. I'll only get like five more gold out of it. We won't haggle for the cheap stuff, I guess. So we'll get more reputation that way. And that will get more people coming in for more expensive potions, and I can haggle for those. Oh, great. Now I gotta do an old man again. Hold on. I like doing the voices. It's fun. It's nice to see new faces in these parts. I suppose you're the new alchemist. Wonderful. I'm the local mushroomer. If you're an alchemist, then you must know quality ingredients when you see them. I have a few mushrooms here. Will you take a look? Thank you. I'm going to call you Owen, just because that's a reference to a D&D &D thing. Uh, I do need more of these, and they're on sale. I don't use them for anything, I don't think, but they will come in handy. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we'll get the ones that are on sale, because that's just good to have, and these mad mushrooms are good for some potions later. And we're gonna haggle the hell out of this. Because that's almost all my money. Thank you. <laughs> Leave me with some coin, man. You got good mushrooms. Uh, but yeah. <clears throat> I need a potion to help me get up a high sheer cliff. Oh, I need a jumping for that, I think. Where is jumping? Oh, I don't know where jumping is. Is it here? Is it there? 
I feel like it's one of these two ways. It might be directly up. Do I even have anything to go up? Oh, that's what the... Uh, God dang. Oh, goodness. Lady, you're gonna... You're gonna make me do research into territory I just don't remember. Okay, this could be rough. Come on. Gently. A gentle hand isn't required for alchemy. Holy hell, how high do I need to go? So far, three wind bloom. Holy cow. I mean, expensive potion. They better pay good money for it. Keep a good eye on your potion. Don't overstir, because then we'll be fucked. Okay. Add water slowly. Very slowly. Come on now. Ooh, ooh. Yes! Level three! Hell yeah. Potion of Swiftness! Okay, that's not what I wanted, but it will work. And that's a good icon for it. I don't know what other icon I would use for that. Uh... Yeah, I think that's just a good icon. I like it. A uh, bottle. I imagine this is like a like a very high dollar tiny little potion that you just sort of throw back. So maybe dinky little thing like that. And uh we'll call this Worms Wind. Worms Wind. Or does that sound too much like it's flying? Uh, I'm pondering. Uh, let's see. In fact, even the icon kind of looks like flying. Is this false advertising? Is that a, a boot? What the hell? It would kind of work, but... The, uh... Uh... Let's see... We'll just call this Fleetfoot. Fleetfoot! Uh... Yeah, honestly, I'm happy with, like, the bottle. It looks okay. Uh, let's see. This potion is a single serving of bottled uh, wait, a sing wait. This potion is intended as a single serving. Ingestion of the whole bottle is necessary for intended for for the advertised effects. Is that right? Yeah. Hello, Mezzi. Hello. I wave to you too. And yes, I'm Dragon. And this is the Dragon's Brew! We're brewing potions for the local populace today. 
Some have been asking for potions to help them burn their neighbors' houses down. We're not we're not making those potions. No, we're not doing that. We're making the nice potions, the productive potions. We're helping society. And I hope I'm spelling things right. Is ingestion with a G? Oh, I'm not as much of a chaos person. Need to talk to, like, Skittle or Rev for that. It is spelt with a G. I was double checking. Oh, my goodness. Uh. I'm so silly. It's been a while since I've had to, like, be really careful about my spelling. Drinking this potion. Bestows the drinker with a burst. Is it effects? I guess it's effects and then, you know, like... Effects and affects are, are really weird. I think you might be right with the effects. I don't know. The... Hold on. Let me check. Effects versus affects. English is weird. Okay, so effect is the noun. So yeah, at the advertised effects, that's a noun form, so... Ah. Uh, burst of increased speed. Ooh. For several hours. Be sure uh, to use marked footpaths and main and well tended roads the increased speed can be hazardous in rough terrain <clears throat> this is potion craft where you play as an alchemist that brews potions and you sell them to people that need them. And I'm doing it in a roleplay form because you get to design the bottles, you get to put the logos on them, and you get to write out a description on the potion. So I'm, I'm filling out like old style like medicine instructions on them. So that is the potion Fleetfoot. You don't want Fleetfoot though, you wanted a jumping potion. I just didn't know what the hell I was making. So. There we go, we have Fleet Foot. That means I was probably close though, so maybe jumping is over here? I think jumping might be. Might be up this way or over there. I have no idea. Hello, Skittle! Nice to see you! How you doing? Oh goodness, I don't have anything to take me up and to the right. Not great. Okay, this will get me up. And let's see. I have ones that will take me to the right. Let's use this one for now. I'm probably not going to save this recipe because I don't have the best plants for it. I'm doing my basic skittle. Doing some... Random roleplay plant making. Let's do this one. Over we go. Oh, I got a talent point. Hell yeah. Yes, let's do more trading. Okay, we need to find out what that potion is. What is... Because that one's pretty much straight to the right. Okay, we will go a little bit higher than necessary. Because we want to be able to just pour the water to swing on back. Oh, this is going to be weird. This is going to be a tough one. I hope everyone's doing well today while I'm very 
tentatively brewing this potion. Oh, this isn't going to be a level 3, is it? I'll get to learn what the zone is, but it's... Wait, I don't super care about it being a level 3 anyways, because I'm not going to save the recipe. That's a potion of mana. Okay, we'll just finish that one. Is that one... I can't remember if that one's going to be jump or, like, lightning. Oh, goodness. I think I'm going to have to send her away today. And dialogue. I'm sorry. My husband is going into the woods to track game. He could use a potion to help him hunt better. Do you want some speed? Holy cow, you... You were really happy about that. And you'll pay a lot. This is worth a haggle. Please, I need to replenish my monies. Thank you. That's amazing. I have to get rid of some quality rodents. I need poison. The potion's quality is important to me. I'm willing to pay handsomely. Oh, I got a good poison. I have a deadly one. Uh, called Graves Guide. I hope you enjoy. You know what? We'll just sell you that for full for the extra rep reputation. I'm now popularity four. My head really hurts, and it's keeping me awake. Do you have some kind of sleeping drought that can help me? Uh, I would love to just give you a health potion to help your headache. But, uh... And she's okay with that. She'd be really okay with that. Uh, where is this? I don't know where a sleeping would be. This might be sleeping over here. Alright, let's go over there. Let's take a look. We can look for a sleeping drought. Oh, you know what? Let's undo that. What if we can make a healing sleeping drought? For this specific... ...need. We only need it to be a level 2 here, because we... That's all we can really do, but... Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, I don't need it to be a level 3, though. Yeah, let's do level 2, because I want a level 3 sleep on this. Alright, that's a level 2 potion of healing, because I can only fit 5 slots in it, so I can fit 2 of one and 3 of another. Let's do this. All right, lady, if this is a sleeping over here, you're gonna have the best night's sleep you've ever had. It'll knock you unconscious and also tend to, we're, we're making basically cold and flu bed. The kind that knocks you unconscious. It's like, can't feel symptoms if you're, oh, that was cool. That's, uh, that's adorable. Can't feel symptoms if you're unconscious. It's like, you're right. Oh, God, he's right. <laughs> I don't like that he's right. Okay, we don't want to go too high with this one. Especially since we're going to very carefully touch those bones over there. We don't want to touch those too much. Come on. Whee! Alright. Well, I might have flubbed this up a little bit. I should have tried to go a little bit higher. Oh, that might be it. I'm just like winging it now. Looks cold. What looks cold? Give me a minute. I don't know what looks cold. I'm sorry, I'm not getting what you're what you're calling cold. Let's see. Are we talking about the cold and flu man? Woo! Brew? Dexterity? Well, that's cool. I'm probably not going to save that one. That was a really rambunctious potion. Oh, that's new. That wasn't in the game before. Oh, I'm going through new territory. Is sleep directly down? 
Sleep could be directly down. I need to do some exploring anyway, so... Just give me a minute, lady. I know we're keeping you waiting, but... Just give me a minute. We're just... We're gonna go with this. Okay. Throw this in there. Alright. We can kind of do a little bit of a cheeky cheat with this whirlpool, though, by letting it sort of take us around a bit. Ooh, that was dangerous. We're just going to go on normally here. Ooh, -hoo. Okay, can't do that one. Let's see what we got. I completed a goal. Alright, this is probably not going to be a saved potion because I flubbed it a bit. We can use this to try to get a 3, though. There we go. Strength! Okay, cool. Where is sleep? Is that sleep? I don't know where sleep is. Well, she'll take the health potion. Yes, I'll just cure your headache. It seems like a much more straightforward way to help you sleep. As opposed to giving you... Like, knocking you out. Maybe I just treat your headache. Yes, we go to bed. Uh, I don't know where anything is, Mezzi. Uh, everything on the map... I, I knew the location of some things, because I played previously, but they moved some stuff and added new things, like dexterity and strength. Instead... Uh, you see these little checkered lines lead to these unknown recipes. Like, there's one hidden there. Uh, which are more faded the farther away you get. But you just have to explore by throwing down these random ingredients, which give you random paths that your potion will travel on the map. Uh, grinding them further will make him go further down the little dotted line. And adding water returns you to the middle. So if you manage to land like just opposite the potion from the middle, then you can just add a little bit of water until you slide into a level 3 potion. And then cooking spins little whirlpools around that moves move you around on the map, and cooking enough will finish the potion. So it's like it's an art form and a science. It's a very fun sort of system i like it it's very interesting oh hello sir greetings i'm a wandering merchant i was passing your shop and decided to stop in i think you might like some of my goods and i don't mind buying some of yours shall we trade okay so do you buy potions oh my god he does what do you have on sale good berry Oh my god, he has good bear. I... <laughs> as someone who plays D&D, &D, this amuses me greatly. I'll buy those. What's, what's this? Oh, that's a wild path. I need a bottom left, though. Do I even have a bottom left? And that one's kind of one, but it's really awkward. Uh... That one's a bottom left, but I don't have many of it. And it's used for my other potion. What uses stink mushroom again? Uh, that would be... My poison. My poison is using stink mushroom. I don't have many bottom lefts. And I'll take it. We'll take those. Uh, I need a couple more stink potions. And stink mushrooms. Let's see. What else do I need? Wind bloom. I don't need those real Oh, I need more life leaf. Do you have life leaf? You have one. Okay. I'll take it. What is that? Oh, enchanted paper. I don't need that. Uh, do you want Yeah, we'll sell these because they're not super great. Uh and we'll sell that. Let's just haggle for a better price, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, flat 200. 
Fair deal. Goodbye. Oh, look at this. Alchemist, that requires some potions. I can use when I'm out hunting. Well, I should have given you dexterity. But actually, you want to run fast? You want to hunt hunt the pokey way? Pokey was a character in a Elder Scrolls game that I played in. And Pokey was an Argonian. And his whole thing was he was super fast. And he would he could run faster than deer. Literally. Uh, so, uh... Yes, we'll give you... I should have named this, like, Pokey's Potion of Speed or something like that. Oh, he'll pay well. Yes, I need to replenish my money. Haggle! I'm not gonna haggle for the cheaper potions anymore, but I'll haggle for potions like that. I think the vegetables in my field have gotten smaller. Do you have anything to make them big again? Uh, well... Hold on. Let's give me a slightly better trade. <laughs> I think plant growth is going to be probably in the same direction as like healing. I think healing and plant growth are going to go one in the hand in hand, which that is kind of a hint. Like the fiery stuff is going to be on the other side of like fire over here. So like explosion is on, on this side, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and like lightning and speed are up here. Uh, poison and things like that. I think sleep might actually be past poison somewhere. Like, that might be sleep there. It's hard to say. Plant growth might be one of these two. I can go hunting real quick. I don't have many bottom rights. I need to hold on to my life leaf for potion for healing. Do I have any other bottom rights? I have goodberry. I can explore with goodberry. I might as well. That's why I bought it. It's the only bottom right one I have other than Life Leaf. And technically I could make a like might be able to make a cheaper health potion with Goodberry, but I don't have Goodberry as accessible. Did I pick? I did pick. Darn it. That lady's yeah. He just he loves hunting. He always goes hunting. Alright, we're going to be a little bit careful with this one. Okay, we're going to see what takes me to the right. Oh yeah, this one would be perfect. A little bit of water bloom. All right, here we go. This is probably not like save potion worthy. But it will tell me what this is. A little bit more water. Okay, can we go a little bit further? Nope, that's... Okay, come on, please. Level three? No, I'm not going to get a level three. Just a level two. Potion of wild growth. Yes. We will take it. Hello. Hello. 74? You know what? I'll just take that 74 and the free popularity. Thank you. Hi, Alchemist. I want to, replenish, want to replenish your supply of herbs? Oh, also I have a favor to ask. I could use one of your potions. What kind of potion? You used to gather ingredients, but almost nothing grows there anymore. The plants are growing back oh so slowly. Oh, Make them grow faster. So, if I remember right, plant growth isn't the same as accelerated plant growth. Like, that one's bigger plants. I think this one might be faster plants. Which you can combine those for, like, more value. But... Let's see. Let's see what we can find. Water blooms are easy to get a hold of. They're cheap. They take me directly to the right, which isn't exactly what I need right now, but it's 
close. Basically the only thing I can afford to do to try and find this particular thing she's wanting. And we'll just go into the trail. Here we go. Uh, okay. I do have other, I do have more options for down than I do. Yeah, I can use Terraria to go directly down. All right, what's that, my fourth water balloon? Go. A Terraria. A life leaf would be perfect for this. I might just hit. Oh, but I can also use Dryad Saddle. Dryad Saddle might work. Let's see. It was really iffy. It's really iffy. I think I just use a life leaf. And try to aim well. It's very careful work. Ha! Potion of sleep! Okay, actually, that's not a bad potion of sleep. It was pretty resource efficient. I used way too many water blooms, but... Uh, tincture of deep slumber. Wait, no. Or should should this be not a potion, but a... Like a... Like a thing of tablets. So we could, like, give it this. Or, yeah, something like that. Uh, tonic of Dreams. That's a good one. The uh, there. What would be a... Like, if I named it Tonic of Dreams, what would be a good bottle for that? The... Uh, Oh, wait, what, like, drop of dream. That'd be cool, right? Like a drop of dream. Drop of dream. There we go. I actually kind of like just using the sleep symbol, and that little, that bottle is nice. Uh, let's see. A single drop of this tincture. Ooh. In a nightly tea. There's going to be a lot of tea use in these potion descriptions. Will lend to uh, good rest and sleep filled nights. It's very simple. Very simple recipe. Uh, we're going to save recipe, finish potion. Yeah, got a potion of sleep. We have one more skill point to spend. We can't afford anything. Okay, so maybe she does need... Sorry, I bumped my mic there. Maybe she does need plant growth. Okay, let's see what she's selling. Life leaf. Yes. Thank goodness. Everything else is expensive. We're going to haggle for it, for this. Because we're, we're getting pinched for cash and ingredients left and right. Okay. We'll get you the plant growth now with that life leaf you just sold me. So we're not skimping out on you or nothing. We'll get you some life leaf. Together and make something that will hopefully yield more plants. 
I wonder if that would actually have the effect of her like having more ingredients for me. That would be cool as hell. Alright, we're gonna go to the very edge of the little whirlpool. Yep. And we're gonna fire it a little bit. Okay, this one might actually be worth saving. Just because I'm being fairly efficient here. Okay, a little bit lower. Yes! I'll grind this up a little bit, just to help. Whoop. All right. Carefully, carefully. Oh, level three. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. I like Gaia being involved. Uh, Gaia's blessing. Let's see. We're going to give it a fancy bottle. Maybe it's like one of those things you, like one of those waterers you upturn and stick in the dirt so it like slowly drains. So like we give it this bottle and we do that. I like the idea of that. Uh, guy is blessing. Do we want a different icon for this? Uh... Like we go with that one if we wanted, or uh, I think I kind of like that one. Okay. To promote vibrant plant growth in gardens or groves, uncork this bottle and in Peter's wait uh uncork this bottle and in one motion up upturn it and Drive the narrow, drive the mouth deep into the soil. So is it, oh, uh, in such a way to not spill excessive amounts in dry soil, the potion will slowly drain over the course of a week. Oh, maybe we do something like over a fortnight. We're playing Fortnite now? Oh my god. The uh, plants within root reach will exhibit the effects. Okay, let me look up exhibit, just to make sure. Yes! I got it right. I spelled it right. So that is Guy's Blessing. Save recipe. Finish potion. Alright. How do you feel about Guy's Blessing? Oh. What? Ho! Oh! oh! It does! She doesn't pay me! She just has more ingredients in the future. Oh my god. You see, 
Hey, wait, uh, this isn't a response. Excellent! This potion is perfect! Well, yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, native phrasing potion. I need your strongest potions! <laughs> oh, I love the potion meme. I love the potion meme, and I love that this is showing up. Oh, native freeze. <laughs> wait, hold up, what's it? I'm going into battle. Potion seller. I'm going to. I need a fusion potion. I need only your strongest potions. I, I don't remember the voice. Potion seller. I'm going into battle and I need your strongest potions. I'll give you a frost potion. Yes. You said you'd pay handsomely. 97 is pretty handsomely. I like that. For a fairly cheap potion. Yes. We'll just haggle. Thank you, sir. I'll need a potion that can help put out a fire in my house or my fields. I'll pay extra for a truly strong potion. Ah. Uh, will cold do that? This potion is perfect. Sure. That makes sense. I mean, it would lower the temperature low enough that, like, the chemical reaction wouldn't have enough activation energy, I guess, is what they call it. That's the term? Is that the term? Oh! Popularity level 5. I urgently need to bring something to the next village over, but my horse is not particularly fast. Oh, I already know what you need, man. <coughs> I'm afraid I won't make it in time. Do you have a potion for horses? <clears throat> to make them faster, I give them more endurance. I don't like the smell of this ingredient. Hairy banana. <laughs> I'll pay extra for a potion without it. So yeah, there is an ingredient called hairy banana. We've not come across it yet. Uh, don't worry, sir. There's only wind bloom in this. There is no hairy banana present in this potion. What the fuck? He'll pay so much money. Oh my god. I'm gonna haggle the fuck out of this. Yes, 50 more bucks. Holy shit. I got so much money. I got 300 from that. Oh my god. That's amazing. I love it. Let's sleep. That's a good day's work. Woo! Fantastic. Let's go to the garden. Pick all the plants. Oh, did I get any more? I, d I think I did get a little more life leaf. That is good. We needed that. <laughs> Hello. Oh, the dwarf. He sells crystals. <clears throat> I love him. Great. Greetings, alchemist. I brought gifts of mountains. You buying? Show me your goods. So. Cloudy like a cloud. Crystal light. Crystal. Cloud crystal. Okay, so these crystals have an interesting effect. I can't remember what the effect is. But at the swirly swoo, I think maybe you can spin them? These are expensive as fuck! Holy shit! What the fuck? I'm sorry, sir, but... Your gifts of the mountains are at the price of gemstones, and I can't afford it right now. <laughs> the lock of my front door is stuck. How do I get in my house now? Do you have a solution? This situation calls for finesse. So it would be best if the potion's effect is weak. I'll pay extra for this. Okay, so she wants an acid potion, I'm pretty sure. Which is... might be down here? I have no idea. Uh, I need to do some field research in this. I mean, she literally said it needs dexterity, but dexterity on uh, on its own is not going to open a lock. But she said it needs finesse. Okay, real quick, I'm going to continue with this potion brewing and writing these lovely little little snippets on my potions. 
Got Fleet Foot, Gaia's Blessing, Drop of Dream, all with their little lovely instructions. Uh, but I need to make a quick run to the restroom. So I will put this page uh, on one of these and just I don't know, on concentrated phlogiston, just so we can admire just that lovely potion for a second. And I'm going to go use the restroom. I'll be back. I am back. And let's see. Oh, that's cool. I love that it actually has the little the little stirring involved in there. That's Is that and is that how much how ground up each ingredient is? It is. That's cool. <laughs> okay, I just realized that. That's nice. Alright. We're back. Need to make potions. This lady needs something to open the lock on her door. I'm guessing acid. I'm guessing acid is somewhere in this way. It might be. I mean, that might be explosion, but it might be acid. Oh, why she needs acid? Uh, she's locked outside of her house. And I'm guessing, and she wants a low strength acid. Or or low strength means to get into her house. She wants it minimum strength. And I've like. Okay, uh, it's not like a potion of lock picking, I don't think. So, fuck it, acid. I only have fire bells taken them. Huh? Oh, in the in the recipe book, Mezzi, it sh the actual recipe illustrates the how you made it and it like even shows this little incomplete circle of like how much you mashed each ingredient it's like the fire bells i didn't mash all the way for this one yeah it's pretty cool and it like shows how many stirs i like it it's nifty all right we're gonna use some fire bells to go lift Also, look at these little flowers just bounce around. What? They want in there. Oh! Well, that was an accident. Not saving this recipe now. <laughs> I dropped him in the cauldron. No, I was playing with my ingredients like a fool. Like a foolish novice alchemist. I flubbed up. Let's just go for a little stroll to live. There's one. Okay. Where's my big... Oh! That could work. Thorn stick. Yes, thorn stick. We will take this. Eh, get out of there. Okay. Need to go up. 
We're not going to save this one anyways. And she wants weak. So if it turns out to be poison, like acid here, then we want it only level one. Oh, that's light. Okay. So that's a very dim light. Uh, sure, we'll finish that potion. That is not worth the ingredients I put into it. Holy cow, that was... <coughs> bit of a... Bit of a waste. Where's acid? I have no idea where acid is. Whoops. Crushed that a little too much. We're going on an adventure. There's no checkers over here. There's no dotted line. All right, let's just keep going. Maybe we'll find something. There's just nothing down here. Oh God. This is some expensive research I'm doing. I should have followed the other dashed lines, but we're in deep now. There's a, oh, there's a dotted line there. Oh, in here. We're researching. Can you imagine if, like, the potion making in Skyrim was like this? It'd be so great. Compared to just munch, munch, munch. I don't think I can pass through that wall. I think that will just kill my potion, but I can try! I'm not gonna lose so much progress anyways. Ah! Potion failed! Goddamn. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Is that acid? I have no idea where this stuff is, y'all. I don't... They move, they move stuff around and I don't remember all the places anyways. Wait, what is this? Oh, that's the potion base. Okay. Cool. Have they implemented that now? Is that a thing now? It didn't used to be. They used to talk about it. Okay, so I can use Stink Mushroom to go down real quick. We're gonna go look behind those bones down there. Hope everyone's having a good day today. Sorry if I sound a little weird. The allergies are still messing with me now and then. Oh, what is that? Who just... I go punk. Hello, I go. How are you doing? Or is it I go? Ego? I keep forgetting. I, I I literally watched your stream yesterday and I can't even remember. Let's see. I need to keep going down. But yes, welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing all right. Whoop. I'm pretty sure it was Ego. No worries. Hope you have a good lurk. I'm just brewing potions and giving them fun little descriptions. It's Ego. Okay. Roger, roger. Thank you. Wait, what was I using to do with the water bloom? That's what I need. Water bloom. Okay, she wants a weak one. So we just need to get to the level one potion here. Let's see if it's acid. It's stone skin! That's like the opposite of what I wanted. Get out of here! <laughs> you know, I'll finish the potion. Lady, you're getting too expensive. Go away for now. Sorry. There was a landslide in the mountains, and the tunnel leading to my village is blocked. How do I get home now? You need a bomb. That's my that's my first thought, is you need a bomb. I think it might be up here. It's like, <laughs> I imagine walking into a potion shop. She's like, the cave is blocked. How do I get home now? And you just look her dead in the eye and go, I'm going to make you a bomb. <laughs> 
Oh no! Increased visibility radius. Yeah. She could brute force with a stone skin or the potion of strength. Do you think she'd take a potion of strength? That'd be great. What was the recipe I saved? Oh, guys, blessing. Right. <coughs> okay, so you can use mad mushrooms to go up there. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to put two fully ground mad mushrooms in there because I need to go top right. But we're going to stop stirring part way through to conserve on our ingredients. Oh, I need to go a little bit deeper into the whirlpool so I don't go into the bones. Oh, just barely. Oh, and went a little bit too much on the whirlpool. It's fine. It's fine. So she's going to want a stronger potion. I don't know if I'll save this one. Because it's already a lot of mushrooms. I've flubbed up a little bit. Okay. Yes, uh, if you're at the whirlpools on the map and you just lightly pump the little bellows, the whirlpools on the map spin and they bring you around, but they'll also bring you very slowly to the center of the whirlpool. So you can kind of mess up your route if you're not careful with it. Let's see. We'll just very carefully. Okay, I think that's in line. Now we add the water. Let me see how intense this fucking bomb of a potion is. Level three! Please be a bomb. Please be a bomb. It's a bomb. All right. Uh-uh. What we call this? What we call this? Uh. Uh. It's gotta be a thrown flask. It's gotta be, right? <clears throat> so. Maybe we give it this bottle so it's like a. It's like a handle and you fucking hurl it with the momentum. I like the idea of that. Uh. Flask of blasting. We'll call it something like that. Unless anyone's got another idea for a name. Lame! Alright, Mezzy. Boy, you got an idea for a name? You got a better idea? Give me an idea. Call my potion name Lame. Give me a better idea. Oh, I can give it a mushroom cloud. Kaboosh. Molotov? It's not fire, it's an explosion! Molotov cocktail. That's fire! That'd be a fire potion. This is explosion. The, uh... Molotovs don't go boom like dynamite does. This goes boom like dynamite does. Hmm. Let me think. Ah! Oh, wait, I have an idea. Uh, Wrath of Vesuvius. How's that? <laughs> Bottled Wrath of Vesuvius. <laughs> Let's see. Warning. This potion is to be handled with the utmost care. Uh, intense sudden stress can cause this potion to activate at unintended times. Oh, wait, did that? Okay, it did save that. Whoopsie. To properly use this potion 
grip it firmly at the base below the thinning uh below the wait we'll just say at the base and and throw using the top weight to help drive the potion at the target be sure to throw from at least how how far how should far should say <laughs> handle with care sudden movement can agitate contents <laughs> that is a that is a very like gentle way of putting this thing will fucking explode <laughs> uh be sure to throw from at least 50 paces away Fifteen feet. I mean, foot, foot. Uh, we could do like a mixture of it. Yeah, like we could say foot paces. Fifty foot paces, feet paces. And um, they might just say paces. Fifty paces away, which is, yeah, that makes sense to me. I would want to throw that potion from far as fuck away. <laughs> and fifty, fifty paces is probably not even OSHA safe for this kind of thing. This is a strong explosion. Bottled Wrath of Vesuvius. What do we just call it? Wrath of Vesuvius? Bottled might be a little bit excessive. Wrath of Vesuvius. I like it. The, uh... Let's see... I think I'm happy with that. Save recipe. Finish potion. <gasps> Chapter 2 completed! Good job! You completed the chapter! With a new chapter, new visitors, order types, potion bases, merchants, and pur purchasable items appear. Continue to complete the goals. That said the same thing last time. Alright. That makes sense. Alchemical practice? Or trading? I'm doing pretty okay on money at the moment. I'm gonna get alchemical practice, because I want to learn more. I want to level up. Hello. Uh... Yes, I know there's a landslide keeping you from your home. Have a bomb. We'll haggle for this. Yes, pay me more money to endanger your life with this random potion. The water noise, the game sound, or your background. Uh, there was, There is a little... When you complete a potion, there is a little water blip, blip there. Also, I don't know if you at any point hear my AC in the background. That could also be a thing. Hi! Still have enough herbs? You should always have a small stock handy. What do you do when you're not gathering herbs? I usually go deep into the woods, choose a picturesque spot, and listen to the birds sing. I even try to sing myself if no one's listening. <laughs> Alright, cool. Oh, you're an elf. I see your pointed ears. Or you just have pointed ears. I mean, it may be messy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know exactly what you're hearing. Ooh, tangleweed. Tangleweed is good. Windbloom! It's on sale, we'll buy it. Oh, and we need more life leaf, right? Yeah. We get five more life leaf. We get some of that. Alright, and we're gonna haggle like hell, right? Uh that's a drop of dream. Well, I can sell you these two level 1 potions. Because I probably want to make better potions by the next time people come around wanting that stuff. Hey, that took 137 off the top. I'm good with that. Woo, thank you. Have a good day, lady. Only to tuck down an old building. You have an exploding potion or something similar? Boy, do I have the potion for you. We just made this... I don't have the ingredients with me today, sadly. I need two more mad mushrooms to make this. Uh, darn it. Do I have anything else that could, takes me top left? I mean, 
That does. That's like my only other thing. Alright, I might be able to make him a one-time potion. Alright, sir. You're you're gonna be lucky. Alright, we're gonna do the billows trick. Just very calmly. Activate the whirlpool. Technically, I'm using less ingredients this time, but Bloodthorn is a little harder to come by. <clears throat> so, might not be as cost effective. Alright, here we go. This is a makeshift uh, Wrath of Vesuvius, and it's not quite right. Hold on. Okay, I do have a lot of these. Just throw some wind bloom in there to help perk it up a bit. There we go. Oh, wait. Yes, uh, finish potion. It's not the Wrath of Vesuvius, but it's... Just as strong. And we'll haggle. Yes, pay me extra, because I need the bunny. I have a bad case of the runs. Go to anything that can treat it. I have a favorite ingredient, mudshroom. Add, add lots of it, and I'll pay extra. Do I even have mudshroom? I don't think I have Mudshroom, man. Also, it's a potion for your shits. Why the fuck do you care if it's got that fancy mushroom in it? It's a potion for your poop. Aren't you much more worried about pooping normally? Just, just take the healing potion and go, man. <laughs> yeah, probably why the dude has the runs. Yeah, probably. Oh, she needs a potion that'll make her more agile. You want a dexterity potion? I can do that. It's totally not a potion that will turn you into a furry. Pay no mind to the paw print. We'll just... Tangleweed can take me over there, and it's not too hard to come by. Neither is ice fruit, to be fair. Uh, Water Bloom is really easy to come by. Tangleweed will take me farther, though. And I can use Tangleweed to go up a little bit. Not by much, but a little. Off we go! Whee! Oh, almost died there. Oh, almost died again. Careful now. Careful, careful. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, every once in a while the allergies get back at me. Do I have anything for going top right? There's the Shadow Cantarell. I'm pretty sure the Shadow Cantarell, that's a little too much. Uh, let's do an Ice Fruit. Let's go up with this. And then... Maybe just two Ice Fruit? I could technically do that. We'll just crush it up a little bit. We won't stir it fully. We're just going to use this to get where I need to be. There we go. A little bit more down. 
There we go. A little more water. Okay, I think this one is okay to... S four ingredients for a further out potion. That's pretty good. Let's fire it up. Okay, what do we name this? It's a potion of dexterity. We can leave the paw print on there. I'm totally fine with that. But maybe we change its color a bit. Maybe we throw some pink in there. Oh my goodness, you can make a pink paw pad. Oh my god. It could be the beans potion. That's funny. Yeah, we'll just make it the potion of beans. Uh, Cat's Grace? It could be Cat's Grace. That'd be amusing. That's a semicolon, not a not a apostrophe. If anyone else has ideas for names, uh, I am down for hearing them. But Cat's Grace so far is sounding nice. Uh, it could be a real tall potion. I like that. Uh, oh, can I? Okay, there's no, like, size change on that. All right. Not that I can see. Uh, and instructions for this. Okay. <coughs> this is a dexterity potion. Hmm. For delicate... For delicate work and accurate movements. Drink a whiskey portion of this vial. Just really fucking ambiguous size descriptions because this is an old, this is an old, old timey instructions. Drink a whiskey portion of this Ow! Dog just bumped my mic. God damn. Scooby. Stop it. <laughs> it caused all sorts of audio issues. Go. Go on. Go. Get up. Get up in that corner. Go on. Go on now. Sorry. Sorry for mic noises. Sorry. Who's this? Lion Lemon. Did I pronounce that right? Lion Lemon, welcome to the party. I'm making potions and giving them old timey instructions. Uh, for delicate work and accurate movements, drink a whiskey portion of this vial an hour before the effects are needed. Once effects... Once... Uh, once sticks... Uh, uh, I'm trying to think. Hello! I see you in the chat there. Let's see. Once dexterity starts improving, the improvement should last two or three hours, depending on constitution. There we go. We will save that po that recipe for Cat's Grace. We will brew it. And look at this fine warrior lass. Enjoy this Cat's Grace. And we're going to haggle because you will pay good money for this. There we go. <coughs> so the main way of saving recipes is just so I don't have to brew every potion. But if someone else comes in needing Cat's Grace and I don't have those ingredients on hand... I can still figure something out. It's not bad. Okay. That was all the customers. I did the harvesting. That's another day. Another day done. <clears throat> Goodness gracious. And let's see what we got in the garden today. Ooh, some wind bloom. Some. What was that one? What's that one called again? Oh, that's the life leaf. And that's the... Uh, is that Terraria? No, that was this whirly looking room, right? Oh no, I guess that was Terraria. Hello? Oh, hello Camo! Welcome to the party! Thank you for the follow! I don't know. 
No worries. Thank you for following now. Sorry if I was bumping my cable there. Whoopsie. Welcome to the party. I'm making fancy potions. And so far, I've given them all fancy instructions. Uh, for those that are just now joining in, uh, some of my instructions include, like for my pesticide here, careful with this vial, a single drop of this tincture is enough to steal large cattle. For, best, for pest control, dilute a drop in a gallon of milk or another fatty base. Spread the resulting liquid with a brush over the bait intended to, for the pests. I said, oh, I typed in for the pests. It should be for the pests. And I've just been... This is how I've been going about my potions. I've been naming them, giving them fancy bottles, and giving them little descriptions on how to use them. I've been having fun with the writing challenge of it. It's a writing sort of practice. <clears throat> and sorry for coughing occasionally. Allergies are brutal this time of year. Well, hello. I heard there was a new alchemist in town, so I came to say hi. I'm the local sorceress, or witch, if you like. That's what the locals call me anyway. Anyway, I didn't. I just uh, come in out of curiosity. Do you happen to carry poison in your shop? Why would a witch need poison? Sometimes our witch recipes call for poison and human blood, but I'll get that myself somehow. <laughs> you mean probably with the poison? Uh, no, leave. Thank you. Greetings. What a brilliant idea yesterday. To brew a beer that warms your bones even in the coldest days. People would pay a pretty penny for it in the northern provinces. The recipe is almost ready. But for the beer to always be warm, I need something like liquid fire. Do you have anything like that? Uh, my fire potion is not intended for consumption. It's a spray bottle. But, um... I'm not one to deny another alchemist the right to experiment in their own right for the good of prosperity and all that. So, um, what else do you add to your beer? Actually, the recipe for my beer is big secret. All I can say is I had five types of fiery pepper to this one. Oh, God. Just take the money and leave. Oh, goodness. Hello. Oh, he hello. Sorry, that's not the voice. Hold on. Give me old man. Hello. That's... I did the same exact fucking voice. Hello. Any desire for some mushrooms? Winking. Wink back. Winking another eye. So are you gonna buy some mushrooms? He's just... He's got, got a twitchy eye. It's fine. I'll buy some dryad saddle. They're on sale. What's this? <gasps> I need more bottom lefts. I need that. What does this do? Oh, that's a nice one. Okay, so that's a little pricey, but we're going to haggle that. Yes. Reduce that price a bit. Pepper beer. Playa Lemon says, you are making this game way more enjoyable than it already was for me. Love it. Well, th well I'm glad I'm being entertaining. I'm glad we're enjoying the game together then. And Camo says, Pepper beer. Yes, pepper beer. I don't like beer. I do like peppers. Uh, I would probably try a sip. I could not promise I would like it. <clears throat> oh, but yes, I'm glad people are enjoying listening to me just ramble on and role play as a potion maker. I need a creative ring that increases endurance, but to com complete the enchantment, I need a potion with the same effect. Do you have one? Endurance? Well, I don't... I can make strength and dexterity. I see a checkered line there. Could that be endurance? Or that could be endurance. Either of those could be endurance. I think I need to go bottom right for this one. All right, we have a customer. that wants something I do not have. What does that mean? Research. I need to make potions I have never made before. The only real ingredient I have to go bottom right is... Life leaf. Darn it. <clears throat> I'm so low on life leaf. I use it for a lot of potions. Throw it in. Throw them in. Alright, we'll get to the whirlpool. 
A whirlpool will help me go a little bit farther. So. Here we go. You need endurance. I will do my best to help with that. Pump the bellows just a bit. Ooh, that was iffy. Pump the bellows a little bit more. All right, now stir. Let's go down now. With these lovely mushroom lads here. Let's just use the full length because we can add water to help undo. More research. Oh, God, it's on the other side of that. And this one seems to be within the bones. Oh, goodness. I'm not totally pleased with that. That is dangerous territory. <clears throat> goodness gracious. How dare. Okay. Let's use a life leaf to go to the right a bit and a little bit down. Let's get a better view. Oh god, it's on the other side. Yeah, okay, I'm going to the left for sure. Uh, what bottom left? Oh, that one's actually basically perfect. We'll use this. It's ought to be interesting. Please be endurance. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of experience. That was good. That was a 60 node. Okay. I can use a mad mushroom. But I kind of need those for another brew. Looks like mad mushroom is the way to go, though. Well, actually... We just throw in a fire bell. Let's add water. It's just creative problem solving at its finest. Here we go. Now let's see if we can get at level three, please. That's a two. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! This is expensive slowness. Oh, come on. I didn't need that. I mean... I'll, I'll finish the potion. I didn't need slowness. Goodness gracious. That was an expensive research. I don't even know where to go. Like, I could try to get to this one, but it's freaking encased behind bones. I'm sorry, sorceress. I'm gonna have to send you away. I don't have the ingredients to just throw away. I'm low on mana. I need mana. A weak potion will work best here. If it's weak, I'll pay extra. Okay. I like how we have two sorceresses come in at the same time. Cool staff. Okay. Getting a good mana potion would be good. Which mushroom is good? It'll take me top right. What's this? You can use that compass to choose the best herb depending on the direction. Compass? I'm looking for the compass. Oh! Water? Oh my god! I didn't know this was a thing. That's cool. Okay, I'm learning things now. So air is top. Water is... Okay, so that's water. Alright. Well, oh, that's magic. And that's water. Okay. Explosion. Fire, death, earth, life. I'm guessing earth and life is how you'd get... Actually, life and water is actually probably endurance, right? You know, like, Caterade, but magic. Magic aid. Uh, okay. But yeah, let's get some witch mushrooms ground up. We're gonna go make a mana potion. With some witch mushrooms. 
<clears throat> I'll just throw them in there. Looks like it is... I could technically make that one work, maybe. That should be less ingredients, although a rarer ingredient. Okay. This is what we're going to do. We're going to get over there. I'm going to try and do this. It's a creative way to use one less ingredient. Oh, that's so close. Yes, yes. Strong potion of mana. Shoot, you're right, Mezzy. She did say weak. You know what I can do, though? Uh, I, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Hold on. Uh, this is uh, Merlin's Respite. We're going to go ahead and make this potion, save the recipe, and then we can fuck up the potion and sell it to her. Here you go. We, I fucked it up for you. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> I made it bad just for you. <laughs> Uh, what do we? We could go with the star. A little fancy star on this one. We want like a. You want star? You vote star. I like the star. Let's see what label we want to put on it. There's a star label. Wow. Merlin's tears. That's a good call. The uh. Uh, we have the star on the star. Uh, Merlin's Tears, I do like that. Uh, mm. <coughs> let's see, sorry, sorry, allergies are starting to act up again. It's getting later since I took my last allergy pills. Uh, hmm. Glow, okay. Merlin's glow. Uh, wait, what if it was? Uh, like Merlin's spirits, because you know uh, they call it whenever they like mineral spirits, but it's uh, Merlin's spirits, or sometimes alcoholic drinks will be called that. I like the idea that. Mezzy votes yes. The, uh, you know what? Let's have the stars all be like a different color. I want this one to be blue still, and I want the back, the small one to be yellow. There we go. I like it. And the recipe, uh, for practitioners of the arcane only. When one's arcane will is depleted, or weary, a mouthful of this tonic should revitalize. Ah, revitalize. One's arcane energies. Do not ingest more than, say, three mouthfuls in an hour's time. You don't want to have too much of it. We'll go with that. Merlin's spirits. For the arcane practitioner, on the go. Save recipe. We're not finishing potion, though. It's... Oh, wait, I already brewed it. I can't fuck it up. Damn it. I already brewed it. I'm sorry. 
Ah, oh, she'll pay extra for a week. More people will come in for a mana. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Oh, wait, no, I can't do that. Shit. You know what? Fuck it. We'll do it live. Just make another one. <laughs> we gotta save potion out of it. It's fine. It's fine. Someone will buy that mana potion. Someone will love it. Someone will love the fact that that's a really strong fucking potion. Right, now we'll just stir all this up. They fine. They want a they want a lackluster potion. I'll give them a lackluster potion. It's a weak potion of mana. Oh, I did not finish brewing. There we go. I didn't name this one. It's not Merlin Spirits. I'm sorry. Holy shit, you'll pay a lot for it though. Okay, I'll let you. I will totally let you pay a lot for that shitty potion. No offense to the potion. Potion didn't do anything wrong. It's just... Why do you want a weak mana potion? Who wants a weak mana potion? I gotta deliver a firewood, but it's all damp and won't even burn. Is there a way to try it out? Yes. Fire. Oh! Oh, shoot, sorry. I'm sorry if that deafened anybody. That was my headset bumping against my mic. I am so sorry. Related B says, Hi. I want to offer promotion to your channel. Goodbye, Harvey Weinstein. Hold on. Where? Hold on. Let me open my Twitch. My Twitch. Hello. Uh, you are going to get banned, mister. Hold on. How do I open up the moderator thing? I don't even remember. Oh, mod view. There we go. Yes. Harvey Weinstein bot. Fuck off. You almost made me read your fucking message. Related B. Bang. There we go. And now after that, someone who actually said something cool, Lyle Lemon says, love your accent and eloquence. I'm having so much fun, I feel like a kid. <laughs> well, thank you, Lila. Uh, if you're wondering what my accent is, the answer is nothing. <laughs> uh, I've always loved talking in voices, and I've always I've been a fan of watching YouTube since like early high school, if not earlier. So, and uh, like British YouTubers, American YouTubers, YouTubers from all over. And I grew up in Texas, so my natural accent is a little more country, but it's. My accent is no longer solely country. It changes all the time. <coughs> oh, native Spanish speaker. All right. I've tried to learn a little bit of Spanish. I need to get back on that wagon, though. Uh, yo no hablo español. Yo estudio español en mi teléfono. Uh, uh, I was using Duolingo to learn some Spanish. Just because a lot of people around me are Spanish. And I wanted to be like, hey, yeah. Uh, it'd be cool to be able to, like, talk to my supervisor when I was working at the maintenance place or stuff like that cuz my supervisor spoke Spanish and not much English so it's cool it's it's cool to you know like when people speak multiple languages I, I like it I want to be able to speak multiple languages so I might open up Duolingo and get back into it says nothing oh can I help you Lila clap clap looks around the room uh do you need something seems to suddenly remember something and turns towards the exit are you sure you don't need anything stops for a second but then leaves goodbye creepy cultist i'm assuming you're a cultist i'm sorry i shouldn't assume as he had a name says so that's normal yeah yeah that's normal he did the equivalent of walking into the kitchen and opening the fridge not knowing what he was looking for and then like just walking back. He stole something. What would he steal? Not Merlin's spirits. Camo says, everyone is a cultist until proven otherwise. <coughs> <clears throat> that is a hell of a philosophy. That's like the uh, Inquisition philosophy. Hi there. I'm trying to catch a mean fish, believe it or not. The thing breathes fire. 
It melted my whole rod last time. Could you give me frost potion for my bait? If the fish swallows it, maybe the heat will back off a bit, right? Uh, fire breathing fish? And not only, I have all the luck with strange fish. I've caught piranha and even a zombie fish once. So fire breathing fish are nothing new to me. All right, cool. Uh, let's get you a potion of frost then. Winter's spirit. Store this vial within a wrap of straw or cloth. When needed, a few drops can be applied to drinks directly for a flavorful chill. Blush with a rag over the surface of beef or pork to preserve, or the bottle can be left open in an enclosed container with foodstuffs needing to p stay preserved. Uh, I can't talk sometimes. Let's see. <laughs> the, uh, let's see. Give him that. We'll just sell. No haggling for that one. It's fine. One of my components keeps heating up too much during my experiments. Do you have a potion that can help me cool it down? Well, yes, I just brewed one as well. I can brew another. Enjoy! I'll uh, just take it. I need a potion to poison rats and other little vermin. Are you going on a level one quest? I like the spear. Spear and buckler combo. All right, that's an interesting choice. I like it. I like it. That's a D&D character idea for you. Here, this is a super strong potion. Just take it. I like you. Oh. Hi, alchemist. Want to replenish your supply of herb? Oh, also I have a favor to ask. I could use one of your potions. What kind of potion do you need? Sometimes I have to gather plants at night. Doing that in the dark is, well, difficult, to put it lightly. I could use a potion that helps me see in the dark. I could use a torch, but I don't want to accidentally start a forest fire. Can you help? Oh, yes, I can make a potion of light. I could do that. Would probably be light from mounted combat. I could see that. Buckler on horseback, not super great. My... Like, I'm not sure when you would use a buckler to spear combo, but... Because buckler is... Generally very short range, unless the other person you're fighting is also buckler and spear. And then y'all are, like, parrying each other's spears at a range. That's the only thing I can think of, then. Hmm. It's sort of like the the thing of, no, 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 we don't charge each other here. We, uh, I'm going to buy goods first. Oh, God, they're all expensive. Oh, God, why? Uh, it's like, we're not going to charge at each other. We're going to stand across the field and just shoot each other with guns. That's like sort of along those lines. Yes, we have a spear and we have... The option to take normal shields, but we're using bucklers because that's gentlemen's shields. Thank you. That is proper honor. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's one dude like, uh-uh. Fuck honor. I am taking a big old shield. <laughs> Alright. Let's get this one pummeled. What is this, the fourth fire bell? Here we go. We want to touch the little swirly swoo. Oh, not that. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> that was dangerous. That was where strange noises coming out of me. Just, just ignore those. Those are fine. Totally normal, I assure you. Perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with a few strange noises here and there. Nothing wrong at all. Oh, that almost killed me again. Oh, silly me. You can tell when it's allergy season, because I can go lower than I normally can. And we'll just throw in a wind balloon to lighten it up. Could also be a case since he's going for rats, etc. That that's all he could find in the armament equivalent of the parts bin. Oh, yeah, if he's a level one adventurer, maybe he can only use a buckler. Maybe he hasn't leveled up to the kite shield or something. Or like a 
full body shield. Oh, I flubbed it. I flubbed it so bad. I can't believe I flubbed that so bad. Oh, God. Gosh darn it. Do I have anything to take me just straight down? This is not going to be a saved recipe. I'll just use a Terraria. I have a lot of them. <laughs> Little baby adventurer. Wood protect. Exactly. I love the idea of that, though, because, like, in, like, at least in 5e D&D, &D, there's just no differences between shields. It's like, come on, I want more, I want more variation. Uh, oh, wait, what kind of potion do you need? And now I can give her that light potion. Excellent, this potion is perfect. Yes, I will give you that. Uh, not any cheaper. And dialogue. She just brings me more ingredients next time, I guess. That's it. All quite sleep. We have a potion for that. I I do have a sweet potion here. Drop of dream. I've been waiting for someone to come by and buy it. I'm gonna haggle though, cause you'll you'll pay me for it, and I need the money surplus. Is that a thief? I need a potion that will help me escape from pursuers. I want an unusual potion with some additional effects. I'm willing to pay more for each effect. Okay, but are you... You're not necessarily a thief. There was a guard standing right behind you. Some bearings will do. <laughs> oh, someone's knocking at the door. One moment. I am back. My mother brought me nachos. I have chips here. Hmm. Uh, with that the case, I'll probably finish this day and we'll call this stream. It has been a very nice stream. We've had a lot of people in. We've got eight viewers right now. That's cool. I mean, my streams can be pretty quiet sometimes, so this is nice. The, uh... Okay. They need something to help them stay hidden. Escape pursuers. Uh, dexterity and speed would probably be good for that. Mmm. This would be an odd potion. Which one? Uh, I could take speed. Oh, yes. I didn't do a stretch timer this time around. I'll probably do exercises and stretches off stream. I just, I've been fighting allergies so hard, I didn't want to do exercises and then be coughing for the rest of the stream. So, yeah. No stream timer this time around, just because I'm already was coughing a fair bit this stream, and I just don't want to fucking die on mic. The, uh... <laughs> I get, uh... My mother and I both get allergy-induced asthma, so... I've been, I've been living off of allergy pills and a little inhaler I keep at my desk. Past few days. Yeah, uh, okay. You know, we're gonna get them a speed potion. This is not going to be a saved potion recipe. This is a this is a potion commission. We're just gonna we're gonna use a lot of ingredients. Maybe I just get the speed and then go over there to see what that is. Cause they didn't care what the additional effect was. They just wanted an additional effect. So we give them a speed potion. Which it occurs to me I could have used the recipe I already made to get over there. But, uh, too late now. Oh, well that was rushed, but I managed that perfectly. Okay, and now we'll go to the right and grab that other one. Okay, I don't want to go through the bones, though. Oh, here we go. I go up a bit. Ooh. Get all those books. There's a good book here. Holy cow. 
Pummel. Pummel it. Yeah, shake it around. All right. Here we go. All right. We just need a level two, so I think I could just throw this in. Oh, a level three. Just totally an accident. I would overpowered some of the speed. Lightning and swiftness. Mashing intensifies. Ah! I love that you can throw the mortar around. I love that. Uh, I'm not going to save this recipe, because it's absurd and no one will want this recipe that much. Uh, but I am going to finish this potion. I'll name it. I'll, 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 I'll fancy it up a bit. I'll, uh, let's see. Let's see. Fury of Olympus. We already had the Wrath of Vesuvius. Now it's the Fury of Olympus. I hope I spelled that right. I'm sorry if I didn't. Uh, maybe we give it like a really fancy looking just bottle of sorts. Oh, that's, that's wild and absurd. I love it. Yeah. Uh... There we go. Hello! Uh... The effects are incompatible. Oh! You didn't tell me they had to be compatible, you bastard. How dare. Okay, fine. I'm not gonna give you a fancy potion then. You just get a normal potion of speed. You... Alright, I'm gonna haggle. I'm gonna make you pay more. He probably would have paid so much, but I already used up so many of my ingredients. I need a protection potion for battles. Oh, stone skin. Fuck. I don't. I don't have one of those saved, but I know what that is. It's way over there. <laughs> oh goddamn. Uh. Maybe we use... How many... Wait, right, I can use the compass. I don't have many bottom left potions. Don't have many death-aligned potions. Luckily, I only really need the one or so. Here we go. There we go, sir. We just keep on going. Uh, no. What about down? We'll use this one first. This is not going to be a saved potion, because I don't really have suitable ingredients for it. At the moment. Actually, I could save this one. This could actually be really resource efficient, now that I'm looking at it. I mean, so if I manage to move that there, okay, let's pump the billows a little bit. There we go. Now that, I felt efficient doing that. Okay, I think we throw... It might be a life leaf we throw in. Oh, poor, poor wishy scratched himself over there, if y'all hear that. I need to give him another flea bath. We got him for some flea pills, finally. But, they're starting to wear off. Much like my allergy pills right now. Ugh. Okay. So far, only four ingredients. That's pretty good. Oh, it's just... It's so close. Come on. Oh, you bastard. You're gonna... You're gonna make me use another one. I mean, one more water bloom is not bad. 
There we go. Alright. Let's burn this. Yeah. Water bloom. Wait, did that not count as using that water bloom? I thought I thought I threw two. Or did I throw a different thing in? Oh, I threw the life leaf in, that's right. A strong potion of stone skin. No, that's not what we call this. What do you call this? Uh, me thinks something like hide, right? Like H I D E, like something hide. Uh, hmm. I think. Okay, how about, uh... Boulder hide? I could say boulder hide. Something also just occurred to me that it could be something like, uh... Maybe not hide. Like, we could do hide. And I do like the idea of, like, you know, like, stone hide or something like that. But we could also go down the route of, like... Uh, ointment of golem or something like that, you know what I mean? That could be cool. Behold, ointment of golem turns one skin to stone, it does. Boy, if you ever feared a blade, you won't fear it when you've drunk this. Let's see, could be that. Uh, uh, hide of granite could be a cool thing, you know? Like, uh,. Or we could also do a, like, kind of a spoof name, almost like Feldspar's... Feldspar's Ointment. Like it's named after a wizard, Feldspar, but that's just a rock. Golemkin Elixir? I like that. I can see that. Uh... Like, maybe... Like something like kin to golem, so it, it's almost like a like an ancient name that was kind of translated kind of poorly <laughs> from like a different language. I could see that, and I want it to be like a big freaking ointment jar, <laughs> like a huge one. <laughs> like you just you just go in there whole hand. You just take a take a handful out. The. Uh, you go with that. Let's go with a bluer tone, but like, like slate gray. That's what I want. Uh, and I think I just like that shield. All right. Uh, for protection of the skin against abrasions and wounds. Apply this ointment liber liberally to to the skin. Yeah, the uh, uh, massage until ointment. Has gone dry, and the stiff, and, oh, sorry, not the skin, stiff, the skin has taken a stony, calloused feel. There we go. For protection of this, oh, sorry, for protection of the skin against abrasions and wounds, apply this ointment liberally to the skin. Massage until ointment has gone dry, and the skin has taken a stony, calloused feel. I can imagine doing in D&D having potions that you don't just drink, but rub on, etc. Yeah, I, I love the idea of alchemy being much more diverse than just, It's a potion! Okay, we're gonna save this one. Because I, li I like Kinda Golem. That's a cool one. 
Here you go, big jar of ointment. Enjoy it, sir. I'm gonna haggle with you, though, because you're willing to pay a lot of money for this, and I need more ingredients, darn it. I have a lot of money right now. Goodness gracious. All right. I'm gonna go do the sleep real quick. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna harvest from the garden, and I'm gonna see what the first customer wants. And then that's probably what we'll hang out for this stream, and maybe I'll do another stream sometime soon. But I do need to eat. Puppy Dog's asking, acting like he wants out soon. Uh, other such things. We've been streaming for... Yeah, it's a two-hour stream. Got s quite a few viewers in. This was nice, having you all around as well. Uh, it's nice to see people chatting in the chat and all that. Yeah, and now that I'm feeling better, now that allergies are light lightening up, I might stream a little more often here and there. Should have made the description also bad translation. Maybe, maybe, or maybe it's like uh, two authors, you know, like maybe the, the name was from like the old recipe, but the instructions of how to use it now, like someone had to restudy this potion to figure out what the hell it even did. So it could be two different authors in that regard. <coughs> we can flavor it as that, so it's like extra history. Hello, colleague. Well, who's business booming? Oh, I can do I can do a quick shopping. We are low on enchantment papers. Okay. Uh, oh, do you have a shop too? No, I don't have a shop. I have a laboratory. Uh, okay. So he's telling us stuff about that. I don't want to linger too much. Because I do need to do things. Okay. I'm going to sell him this potion. Uh, strong potion of slowness. I'll hold on to that for now. Maybe. Uh, you know what? No, I'll sell it. Because I can make a better potion and save it next time need someone needs slowness. Haggle! No! I fucked up! It's like my first time messing up the haggling. Alright, 600 good dollars. Now, oh, Geralt! We get to see what Geralt wants, and then we'll save and come back next time. Hello, alchemists. The residents of a nearby village asked me to deal with the ghouls that have been terrorizing them. Apparently, they have a nest somewhere near the village. To destroy it, I need a bomb. Oh, okay. I mean, bombs are nice. The, uh... I probably should have done that more in a Geralt voice. I don't know if I could do a Geralt voice. Like, all I know of Geralt is the grunting and, like... Ugh. Hmm. Like the, like the sort of audible smolder. That's, like, all I know of Geralt. I didn't play the games. I own one of the games. I've barely played any of it. And I've just seen clips of Henry Cavill being Geralt in the show. Uh, hey! The first person was a store guy. I, I think I, I thought I said first customer, but maybe not. But I meant the first customer. We saw the first customer. Uh, we're gonna save. But yes, you are calling me out on that. Good job. <laughs> I I need to be called out on it. Yes, we will overwrite the previous save of Dragon's Brew. And I'm glad a lot of people came in and just hung out with me while I made potions and just came up with very poorly written instructions that had no proper actual like size listings on them. Yes, I will eat my nachos and I am a silly dragon. I will accept that. Yes, food is good. Uh, also need to rest, rest my voice so I don't end up with another allergy fit. But yes, thank you all for joining. I hope you enjoyed. The, uh, and I'm glad I entertained some people with my strange voice and voices and whatnot. Uh, Y'all have a good one. Goodbye. I could use the stream ending screen, but I'm too lazy. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Wahoo. Adios.